Welcome to part 7 of Zinc Ultra Scale Plus and Peta Linux. The title of this video is Vivado Projects, Axi SPI Master, Slave I2C. This video is in part supported by Blickfeld Company. Blickfeld is a company here in Munich specialized in creating LiDARs. In this brief video, I first go through the folder structure for deliverables, and then I briefly look at the Vivado project for the ZCU104 board and for the Z board. If you have the deliverables for these videos, then this is the folder structure that you will see. For each of the Z and ZCU104, we have the bit, which contains the final bit stream of the design, also for Z board is the same. Then we have Peta Linux, which contains the Peta Linux project for each of the ZCU 104 and Z. Then we have the SH folder. The SH folder contains the shell script, which automates the process of building the design. Then we have TCL. It contains the TCL script, which creates the project. Then we have Vitis folder, which holds the uh, files related to Vitis for each of the projects. Then uh, we have Vivado folder, Vivado ZCU 104, Vivado Z, each contain the file related to the Vivado project for ZCU 104 and Z. Then we have the XDC folder. This contains the pinning file for each of the boards for ZCU 104 and also the pinning file for the Z. And then finally XSA file, this is the hardware description, which is the output of Vivado and the input to Peta Linux building process. Then I have the IP folder. The IP folder contains two IPs. First, my Axi SPI slave. This is a, a simple SPI slave. And then we have another folder, Axi SPI slave DMA, which contains a DMA engine inside. So it's DMA capable. And this is basically the title of another series of videos in which I create this IP using system Verilog. So this IP itself is not part of this deliverable. Now, if I bring my command prompt up, then inside this folder, the folder that I showed you, I'm inside this folder. And then if I go to either one of the SHZCU104 or SHZ, then all I need to do to create the entire Vivado design is simply to run the run.sh script there. The run.sh is not a complicated script. It's very simple. It just performs a simple cleanup and then it gives Vivado the TCL script that we have for project creation. The TCL script is inside the TCL folder. All right, so the beta stream ha has got generated and, and I briefly need to describe the um, architecture. Here we have basically a simple GPIO. The GPIO has a four bits output and another four bits input. And these guys are connected to the LEDs on the ZCU-104 and also to the push, push buttons on ZCU-104. Then we have an Axi I2C, which is going out of the board through the P-Mode connector. We have the standard Xilinx Axi Quad SPI. The configuration of this guy, we are in a standard mode. Basically, transaction bits is only 8 bits. And then the frequency of the SPI interface is 1 8 of the clock that we are giving to the SPI IP. And then we have uh, configured the device to be a SPI master and we have enabled the internal FIFO. So here I have a clock which, which I use as the external SPI clock and this guy is 100 megahertz. So I expect to see on my SPI bus a speed around 12 
megabits. We have E laws everywhere. We have basically three E laws in the design. This is a ca DMA capable SPI slave I IP. Basically, these wires are coming from the Xavier. Our SPI slave has one Axi Lite slave interface for configuration. Basically, the CPU tells the SPI slave where to put the received data and from where it should grab the data that it should send. When the data arrives over MOSI line, then our DMA capable SPI slave grabs the data and puts the data into the PS side DRAM memory directly without any intervention from CPU. CPU only in the beginning CPU tells the IP the addresses to which it should copy the data. So the coordinates of the buffer in the DRAM memory will be given to the SPI IP by the CPU and that's it. CPU can stand aside and every while or so all the CPU needs to do is to check the read and write pointers of the SPI to see how much data is arrived so that it can read that buffer. These will be covered in detail in the other series of video that I'm creating for this DMA capable SPI slave. That's a basically a system verilog design example with Vivado. Then I have the ELA which monitors all of the signals related to this interface. The Axi master, Axi slave and also SPI, IP, SPI signals. Now that we have the Vitastream, we, ha we can also export the hardware. So I can go ahead and export the hardware. And uh, as I described to you, I put the exported hardware into the XSA folder. So we put the uh, XSA file here. And this is basically where we grab the file for the, Viva for the Petal Linux project. Now, the same holds true for the Z board. Inside sh underline Z folder, all I need to do is to run the sh, run the shell script. And this guy basically opens Vivado, gives Vivado the TCL script for project creation. The TCL script performs all of the steps needed for creating the project and produces the bit stream file. Okay, so now we have the bit stream also for, um, for the Z board and the design here is simpler. I, for the I2C lines, which are coming from ZCU 104, I'm just monitoring them at ELA side. However, for the SPI lines, I'm connecting them to this custom my XI SPI slave IP. And this is a, this is not DMA capable like the previous one in ZCU 104. This is a simple Axi slave SPI IP, and it provides a simple Axi memory map to slave interface. And basically, there are two FIFOs inside this SPI IP, and the CPU fills up one of the FIFOs are for TX. Basically, contains the data which this SPI slave sends that data over the MISO line and then another FIFO will receive the data basically from the MOSI line and the received data from MOSI line will be stored in that FIFO and then the CPU reads that FIFO. So here CPU needs to interact actively with the SPI IP. For this design, we, we do the same activity. Basically, we have already the beta stream and all I need to do is I come here and export hardware. I, I think the TCL script even also can, does this. In the next video, I'm gonna show the pin assignment that I did for ZCU 104. 